All right, I am super pumped because we have just found an echidna. <laughs> I am freaking out. Now this is what they do when they feel threatened, they'll actually burrow um, into the ground and leave those spikes exposed. The spikes are pretty formidable. Um, there's actually a little leech on them here. Let me just get that off. Ooh, come here. Whoa, almost got me. Wow, so cool. All right, so echidnas um, are monotremes. So what that means is that they actually lay eggs. Um, so they are a cousin to the platypus and they uh, pretty much live a, a similar lifestyle to that of an armadillo or an anteater, um, mostly hanging out um, in burrows during the um, day um, and then coming out at uh, night um, or early in the morning to um, dig up termite mounds, ant nests, and things of that nature. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm like, I'm shaking right now. <sighs> that is so, so cool. Oh my gosh, that is the craziest thing. So cool, this little tail right here. <sighs> so cool, right buddy? I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, they just tear through the, tear through the earth. They have huge, huge claws. This is a uh, short-beaked echidna, or uh, Tachyglossus aculeatus. They are apparently very, very hard to find, but we have found one. Right, right. I know, I know. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, so cool. I'm freaking out. Look, I'm standing on thorns right now, and I just realized that. My knee was just in there. And I'm just, I'm high on life. I'm high on life. Having a great time. This is so, so cool. Ah! Oh, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is so cool. All right. Did you know that echidnas have pink milk? This is due to iron-rich hemoglobin. How crazy is that? So what's actually um, really, really cool about echidnas um, is that because they are monotremes, they have a very, very low body temperature. They actually have the second lowest body temperature um, of any mammal, second uh, to the platypus. Uh, so these guys, um, uh, typically have a body heat of about 33 degrees Celsius. Um, super, super, super cool. Um, now these are actually spines, uh, like a hedgehog. Um, uh, not, not like quills, quite like a porcupine. Um, and they are used in the same way. Uh, as, as he feels threatened, he can poke out those, poke up those, uh, spines. Um, and that is honestly a really, really good defense. Uh, so what they do is, um, again, when they feel threatened, they'll use those powerful claws to pull themselves into the ground um, and to keep the, uh, the spiny side, the business end, um, up towards predators, in this case, myself. <laughs> wow. Absolutely awesome. By far, probably my favorite mammal on the planet. <laughs> wow. Uh, so they do, yeah, they lay eggs just like a platypus. Um, and they secrete milk. Um, they don't have uh, um, like teats like uh, uh, most mammals do. So crazy. So crazy. Wow. Don't want to stress them out too much. Beautiful, beautiful animal. <laughs> Man. Really makes, uh, let's see, what time is it? 1.37 a.m. And we were up at 4 a.m. this morning. <laughs> or yesterday morning, I guess. Um, didn't find any in the morning. 
took a nap, came back out, and we've been looking uh, for a good many hours. <laughs> we found one. We found him. That's so good. It's so cool. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. So cool. That is awesome. You can see, I mean, in just the few minutes that it's been here, it's kicked up all of this dirt. Rocks, roots, doesn't care. It slices right through it. That is fantastic. Fantastic. Good stuff. <laughs> Sadly, this echidna was not as big a fan of me as I was of it. My flashlight was quite the shock to the little guy, and as you can see, he repeatedly hid his little head uh, from my camera. Um, as far as it goes, I didn't want to stress him out too much, uh, so we got the footage we needed, and we let him on his way. Stay tuned for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife. We have a lot of good ones coming.